Hello everyone, welcome back to our class. I'm Hai. In the last lesson, you already learned about Vietnamese tone system. And remember that there are six tones in Northern Vietnamese accent. And today, I would like to show you how to say hello in Vietnamese. But it's not the only content of this lesson today. Our lesson today is divided into three main parts. The first part is Vietnamese basic personal pronouns. And the second part is how to say hello in Vietnamese. And the last part is how to say goodbye. Okay, let's begin with the first part, Vietnamese basic personal pronouns. In English, you normally call yourself I and you call other you, but Vietnamese consists of a large number of personal pronouns and the way you use them depends on age, gender, and the relationship of the person you are talking to. Now, I would like to show you basic one you will often use to address yourself and address others. Let's start. When you are talking to the person who is around your age, you call him or her ba and you call yourself Toi. Toi means I and Ba can be translated into friend. Both Toi and Ba are neutral personal pronoun and can be used for both genders. When you are speaking to the person who seems to be older than you and about of your younger sibling's age, there will be two situations. If that person is male, you call him I'm. And if that person is female, you call her T. And you have to call yourself M. Right, okay. I'm literally means elder brother, and T means elder sister. And M means younger sister or younger brother. Next. If you are talking to the person who is about your younger sibling's age, you call him or her M. As I told you before, M means younger sister or younger brother. M can be used for both genders. And you have to call yourself I'm if you are a male and you call yourself T if you are female. I'm means elder brother and T means elder sister. Next, when you are talking to the person who is in the same age as your grandma, grandparents, okay, so there will be two circumstances. If that person is male, you call him om. And if that person is female, you call her ba. Om means grandfather and ba means grandmother. And you have to call yourself Chao. Chao means niece or nephew or grandchild. Next. When you are talking to the person who is of your parents and your sibling, it means that he or she might be older a little bit than your parent. You call him or her ba. Ba means aunt and uncle in general. And you have to call yourself Tao. Tao. As I mentioned before, Tao means niece nephew or grandchild. Both Tao and Ba can be used for both genders. Next, in case of you are having conversation with someone who is in the same age as your uncle or your aunt, and to be more specific, he or she could be younger than your parents. And if that person is a man, you call him Chu, and if that person is a woman, you call her Go. 
Chu can be translated into Rangkul and Go means aunt. And you have to call yourself Chao. Chao means niece or nephew or grandchild. Right. Lastly. Lastly? Okay. So when you meet someone who is as young as your niece or your nephew or your grandchild, you call him or her Chao. Chao, as I told before, means niece, nephew, or grandchild. Okay? So if you feel that person is as young as your grandchild, you call yourself Om in case of you are male, and you call yourself Ba in case of you are female. So if you feel like you could possibly be around the age of that person, parents, you call yourself Ba or Chu or Go. Remember that Ba can use for both gender, male or female, and Chu means uncle, refer to the person who is younger a little bit than that than that person's parent. And go refers to a woman who is younger a little bit than that per that person's parent too. Okay. So in short, you call yourself Toy with the person who is around your age and you call that person ba toi means i and ba can be translated into friend and you have to call yourself em when you are talking to the person who is older a little bit than you and you call that person an if that person is a man and you call that person ti if that person is a woman and you have to call yourself Chao in case of you are talking to the person who is in the same age as your grandparents or your uncle or your aunt. Chao means niece or nephew or grandchild. Okay, so that is the end of our first part. So it's a complicated, right? But remember that they are just basic personal pronouns. It means that there is something more challenging than this. However, if you can remember and you can understand these basic personal pronouns that I have just shown you, it's enough for beginners to communicate in most of situations in daily life in Vietnam. Okay, so now we will move on to the second part of our lesson today. How to say hello? Hello in Vietnamese means Xin chào. One more time. Xin chào. And you see here, the first word is flat tone. Xin. And the second word is low falling tone. Chào. Again, one more time. Xin chào. And we have another way to say hello is you say chào. And you choose the suitable second personal pronoun. Okay, so now I will give you some example using these structures. And let's practice with me. Okay, so imagine this is me, okay, a Vietnamese girl. When I meet someone who is around my age, okay, so let's get what I will say hello to her. Right, I will say Chào ba. Okay, you see here Chào means hello And ba is the second personal pronoun you will use to refer to someone who is in the same age as you So Chào ba means hello friend So how will she respond? She will say Chào ba chú Yes, okay. Next. Okay, when I meet someone who is younger a little bit than me, so how will I say hello to her? 
Yes, I will say Tao M. Okay, M means younger sister or younger brother. Okay, so Tao M means hello younger sister or hello younger brother. Okay, so how will she respond to me? She will say Tao T A. Okay. T, as I sh as I show you in the first part, T means elder sister. But there is a new word here. What does A ah mean? Well, A ah, is just an additional word that put at the end of the sentence to show your respect, to show your respect to the person you are talking to. Okay. Next. When I meet someone who is older a little bit than me, so how will I say hello? Right, I will say Tao T N A because I want to show my politeness, so I add the word A at the end of the sentence. Okay, Tao T A T means elder sister. So how will she say hello to me? Right? She will say Tao M. Hello, younger sister. Okay, next. If I meet a man who is, sorry, who is a little bit older than me, so how will I say hello to him? Yes. I say Tao An A An means elder brother and he will say Tao M Hi younger sister Next in case of I meet a man who is in the same age as my red father. So, how will I say hello to him? Right. I will say Tao Ong A. Ong means grandfather. And I have to add the word A at the end of the sentence to show my politeness. Right. And he will say Tao, Tao, Tao means niece or nephew or ranch hide. Okay. Next, when I meet a woman who is in the same age as my red mother, so how will I say? Yes, and you see here, I will say Tao, Ba, A, Ba means grandmother and she will say Tao Tao means low range height okay so now I will give you one more example this is my student and I'm her teacher so let's see what will she say hello to me? Okay, she will say Tao Go Hai A. Right. Tao Go Hai A. Hai is my name. Okay. So Go here. Go means aunt. But in this situation, Go refers to female teacher, so Tao Go Hai A can be translated into Hello Miss Hai, right? So, how I will respond to her? I will say Tao Tang Tao Tang Okay, there is a new word here. What does Chang means? Well, Chang is her name. 
So from this example, you can see that you can say Tao with the appropriate personal pronoun or you can say Tao with the name of the person you are talking to. Okay, so in short, there are three ways to say hello in Vietnamese. The first way is to say Xin Chào Xin Chào The second way you say Chào plus suitable second personal pronoun And the last way to say Xin Chào is to say Chào and add the name of the person you are talking to Chào Hành Okay, so that is the end of the second part of our lesson today. Let's move on to the last part, which is how to say goodbye. Luckily, the two structures, chào plus second personal pronoun and chào with the name can be used to say goodbye, right? Very easy, right? Okay, and another way to say goodbye is Biệt. Okay. Ta biệt means goodbye. And remember that ta biệt, both words are low tone. Ta biệt. Right. Okay. So we have just finished the third part of our lesson today. So in conclusion, you have just finished learning three parts. The first part is Vietnamese basic personal pronoun. And the second part is how to say hello in Vietnamese. And the last part is how to say goodbye. Our lesson today is complicated, right? But don't worry, practice make perfect. So if you have any comment or any questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section below. Tạm biệt. Goodbye.